I'm telling you that India is that way, now set my course. Your Highnesses have an other world here, by which our holy faith can be so greatly advanced and from which such great wealth can be drawn. I am a most noteworthy sinner, but I have cried out to the Lord for grace and mercy, and they have covered me completely. I have found the sweetest consolation since I made it my whole purpose to enjoy His marvelous presence. Oh, what a gracious Lord, who desires that people should perform for Him those things for which He holds Himself responsible. Day and night, moment by moment, Everyone should express their most devoted gratitude to Him. The working out of all things has been assigned to each person by our Lord, but it all happens according to His sovereign will, even though He gives advice. But in truth, should I meet with gold or spices in great quantity, I shall remain till I collect as much as possible. And for this purpose, I am proceeding solely in quest of them. No one should fear to undertake any task in the name of our Savior. If it is just and if the intention is purely for His holy service, all who heard of my project rejected it with laughter, ridiculing me. There is no question that the inspiration was from the Holy Spirit, because he comforted me with rays of marvelous inspiration from the Holy Scriptures. My desire was not to pass any island without taking possession, so that, one having been taken, the same may be said of all. He added that it was useless to complain, he had come to go to the Indies, and so had to continue it until he found them, with the help of our Lord. They believe very firmly that I, with these ships and people, came from the sky and in this belief they everywhere received me, after they had overcome their fear. And they know neither sect nor idolatry, with the exception that all believe that the source of all power and goodness is in the sky. I am not solicitous to examine particularly everything here which indeed could not be done in fifty years, because my desire is to make all possible discoveries, and return to your highnesses, if it please our Lord, in April. Gold is a treasure, and he who possesses it does all he wishes to in this world, and succeeds in helping souls into paradise. Nothing that results in human progress is achieved with unanimous consent. Those that are enlightened before the others are condemned to pursue that light in spite of the others. Thus God gives victory to those who follow His way over apparent impossibilities. Life has more imagination than we carry in our dreams. It is easy to discover what another has discovered before. The sea will grant each man new hope, and sleep will bring dreams of home. Sail this day nineteen leagues, and determine to count less than the true number, that the crew might not be dismayed if the voyage should prove long. I went to sea from the most tender rage, and have continued in sea life to this day. Wherever anyone has sailed, there I have sailed. 
One does not discover new lands without consenting to lose sight of the shore for a very long time. Goals are simply tools to focus your energy in positive directions. These can be changed as your priorities change. New one added, and others dropped. By prevailing over all obstacles and distractions, one may unfailingly arrive at his chosen goal or destination. Riches don't make a man rich. They only make him busier. You can never cross the ocean unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. I should not proceed by land to the east, as is customary, but by a westerly route, in which direction we have hitherto no certain evidence that any one has gone. There are trees of a thousand sorts, and all have their several fruits, and I feel the most unhappy man in the world not to know them for I am well assured that they are all valuable. Here the people could stand it no longer and complain of the long voyage but the admiral cheered them as best he could, holding out good hope of the advantages they would have. After having dispatched a meal, I went ashore, and found no habitation save a single house, and that without an occupant. We had no doubt that the people had fled in terror at our approach, as the house was completely furnished. I believe that this land which your highnesses have commanded me to discover is very great and that there are many other lands in the south of which there have never been reports. For the execution of the voyage to the Indies, I did not make use of intelligence, mathematics or maps. Following the light of the sun, we left the old world. I have come to believe that this is a mighty continent which was hitherto unknown. I am greatly supported in this view by reason of this great river Ozama, and by this sea which is fresh. The air soft as that of Seville in April, and so fragrant that it was delicious to breathe it. <laughs>